Right, so quick look at a knife I got today. I was going to call the video a review video, but as I haven't had it long enough to do a proper review, I'll just do like an overview of it. Once I've had it a while, I'll do a proper review. And it is the Anglo Arms Desert Master. What I'll do, I'll put the camera down here so we can have a closer look at it and I'll tell you about it and what I think so far. Well, so that's it in the sheaf. I'll just uh, tell you the reason I bought it, partly. One reason was a friend of mine on Facebook, Wesley, he said that he's got one of these knives and wanted me to make a Kydex sheath for it. Well, I'd been looking at these for a long time, but kind of just never bothered getting one, but kept thinking about it, because I like the look of them, and I also like the price, which I'll tell you in a minute. So I kept looking, you know, and then when Wesley had said about making a sheath for it, I thought, actually, I might buy one. Because they are actually only £9.99. And with the postage, I managed to get this one for about £13.50 from Springfields Bushcraft.com, whatever, or the code UK. And that was one of the reasons, because the price is brilliant on these, you really can't beat it, you know. Less than some more knives. Um, just seeing if I've got a tape measure and I can give you some measurements. You probably you probably seen other people's videos of these anyway, but in the sheaf it is around eight and a half inches long. No, it's about eight and a just over eight inches long. This sheaf I think is probably what they call Cordura or whatever. You've got your belt loop. It'll take a relatively wide belt. You probably squeeze in there just about a two inch belt, which is pretty good. And it's got this cord going through eyelets. So it kind of makes it resemble a Kydex sheaf in a weird way. And you've got your usual, you know, like webbing strap, whatever, with um, Velcro on it. It was actually slightly smaller than I thought it was going to be, only purely because I hadn't even bothered looking at any of the dimensions of a knife. Normally, what I do if I'm going to buy a knife, I'll um, have a tape measure with me and I'll just look. So I've got an actual rough guide how long something is before I buy it but this one the price you know the price is so cheap I just thought I was going to buy it so the blade is about it depends on where you measure it from I suppose but say in between three and three and a half inches long quite a wide blade just over an inch an overall length seven and a half inches and it's got a nice thick blade on this one I'll do that in millimeters though it's about four millimeters thick and uh a Makata handle, white and black. I believe the steel is 440 stainless, whatever. And it's got this, um, I don't know what you call it, these bits on the back, like a thumb thing. It's not a saw or anything, it's just for a bit of grip there. It was quite nice getting a knife like this because I haven't bought 
No, right, this might sound weird. I haven't bought, like, what I would class as, like, in the old school of a proper knife. Because the most knives I've bought recently have been more knives. I'm not saying they're not proper knives, but I will explain. In the old days, when I used to buy knives, they always used to be like this. Stainless steel, full tang, you know, and a bit of wood or whatever each side for the handle. And then for a long time, I'd been buying more knives, which are carbon steel pushed into a plastic kind of rubberized handle, which and the tang only comes halfway down. Um, and this kind of buying this then took me back to how the kind of knives I used to buy. And it, the, the weight feels so much different to like a Mora. Nothing wrong with Moras. I'm not saying they're not proper knives, but you know what I mean. It's just a different way of saying it. So, so far, I've only had it for the day. I quite like it. Um, I haven't really done much with it, but hold it and see how it feels. The only thing I would say is on this one, I don't know if it's all of them, but on this one, but the edges of the handle here and here and on these edges, I don't think they've been rounded off. If, I wouldn't say they feel sharp, but you can definitely feel an, a, you know, a sharp kind of angle to them. I'd say that there probably feels sharper than the back there. So the back there. That there feels sharper than that. But that could probably easily be remedied with a little bit of sandpaper or something. Now, I'm not saying they're all like that, but this one is. Some of the edges feel a bit, you know, sharp for a knife handle. But then again, it's, I suppose it depends what you've been used to. Now, if I've been used to Mora's for a long time, you ain't really got no sharp edges anywhere. Everything's smoothed off and even rubberized. Then that's what you get used to. One thing I always like in a knife, which I noticed most more as I've bought recently, haven't got, is a lanyard hole. So it's nice to have a lanyard hole straight away. Um, apart from that being, you know, not rounded off, I quite like it. It's a decent knife. Well, it feels decent. You know, that's kind of a nice size to carry down the woods. If you're just going to do... You know, nothing too majorly serious. But even if you took that and something bigger, you know, you'd get on with it, all right? I would say my one didn't come... It's not razor sharp. It's all right, but it's not... It definitely needs honing. It's not blunt, but it's not... You know what I mean? It's not razor sharp like a Mora. So... Like I said, only going to be a quick overview. There's not much I can say when I've only had it this short amount of time. But I thought I'd show you it. So far, I like it. I'll use it for a bit. I can't see that much is going to happen to it. I may round these off. I may not, though. And also, I am going to make a Kydex sheath for it, definitely. Right, so that's the Anglo Arms Desert Master. Right, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.